Hello and welcome to another episode of the Super Awesome Geek Show unboxing video series. Today we have Titans Return Headmasters. These are the small $4.99 guys. I'm John, your host of the Super Awesome Geek Show podcast. Check us out on, t on uh, iTunes and we should be on Google Play by now. I'll have to double check that. So yeah, these are the Titans Return Transformers. These are all the little heads that you get for $4.99. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you each of these in the packaging. And then I have one of them out of the packaging so you can kind of get an idea what they're like. I am not sure if I'm going to open these yet. So that's why they're staying the way they are. Um, yeah, so let me bring in each one in close. I'll show you the packaging on each one. You pretty much see what they are by just looking at them in the packaging. It's not that much different. Uh, there's probably one more mode for each character that you're going to miss by not having them open. But yeah, here we go. All right. More than meets the eye. Titans return! <laughs> okay, this is Clobber. And you get the small robot that turns into the head. He looks a lot like um, the head for Grimlock, right? He is a creature of some sort. And then looks like he can turn into another creature of some sort. We'll flip it around. They don't actually do, they don't show you all the modes on the back. That kind of sucks. <laughs> it just says Titan Master and works with all other compatible Titan Masters in the Deluxe Voyager and Leader class size. So see that's what I mean. These are all very simple I think they all have the exact same packaging, but uh, they're just different figures. So here is Brawn. Brawn looks cool. Brawn, we will know, is um, someone from the original Gen 1 first series in the United States. He was one of the small mini bots so it's cool to see Braun back in action when the when he folds up he can sit in this little gap you know and kind of fill out the vehicle so it's kind of cool and he looks a lot like Braun did in the original you know when he folds down to the head does not look like a Braun head to you it does to me and then we have sky tread Skytread has a tank and the robot mode looks like he's uh that reminds me of either Astro Train or the other one there. What was the one with the plane and the band? I'm a bad Transformers fan. Come on, it's the other one. The tank who was the shuttle, right? No, right? No, it was tank and airplane. Blitzwing! There we go. <laughs> But that's him, you know. Uh, yeah, Skytread. Loudmouth is pretty cool. His head, I uh, don't recognize that much. Maybe it's just a new one, or it's someone I didn't collect when I was younger. Or I'm just not placing it right now. Could be totally new. Who all? Who knows? But he can also sit in there to sort of fill out the vehicle mode. And we have Nightbeat, which I totally remember, Nightbeat. And, you know, his blade screw dealy. He goes back here in this part to form the screw, and then it also looks like it turns into some kind of plane, I would imagine. Because a lot of these do triple change. I'll show you that now when we while we get to Ape Face. So here's Ape Face's packaging. Looks a lot like a Megatron slash Galvatron kind of head. Could even be kind of a Starscream type head. One of the jet planes. But Ape Face is not leaving on a jet plane. Actually, maybe he will be because he is part jet. You'll see. Because Ape Face is the one that I have open. So I can kind of show you what I mean by all these. So let's do this. I'll adjust the camera. So here we have Ape Face in his jet mode. 
So you can see all that. Move this light a little bit over. And like I was saying, ape the head for Ape Face, the headmaster, is right in the jet, kind of laying down to form part of the body and the rear of the plane. And now the head can come right out here. And we can flip this back, flip these forward, and make him be an ape. And if you want to, you can kind of put the head master guy. Oh, how did I do this before? Like, like that or something? Yeah, maybe it was like that. And you've got the silver back part on his back, you know, if you want to do it. But that's his ape mode. He also has a gun mode. You can kind of flick this down and it'll go in someone, you know, a character's whatever, and you can kind of make him a gun. I don't know. They can hang on to him, right? <laughs> Not quite sure about that, but whatever. So then the head, the heads you get are these little guys like this. Oop. Little guys like that. And they do have arm movement. Most of them do. They kind of have a little bit of side movement, so you can kind of, when they're in they're little tiny, my, sorry if my hands are in the way, but these guys are like half an inch tall, you know. Um, maybe an inch at the most, three quarters of an inch. But you can kind of move them so you can move their arms. Boy, can you see that? I mean, that. there's not much character to light. <laughs> um, and of course he has the upside down head of Mega Galvatron, whatever you want to call him. And uh, when he's in head mode, he just goes... Whoop. Dipping into head mode! And then bam, he can go on another figure. I'll show you that. Because it just so happens that I have Scourge! And if I take Scourge's head off, bam, 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 He can go right on there and be like, hey guys, now I have a purple head. And then Scourge's robot little guy can sit in here and be like, I'm going to control the gun for you, Scourge. Well, you're in purple head mode. So you get the idea, right? Or we can go... I need you to run the gun for me. Gladly, my friend. Here you go. Ape face can climb on and be like, I'm gonna hang out with you guys too. Oh. There we go. So there you go, Ape face and the mini cons from the Titans Return series, all the Headmaster Minicons that triple change. Looks like they may also turn into weapons for certain characters, so maybe they've got four modes, you could say. And the head, I mean, very versatile. You can do a lot with these figures. But yeah, still not sure if I'm going to open the other ones. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but I will show you in a future video, Scourge. So, come on right back. Join us next time on the Super Awesome Geek Show video series. Listen to our iTunes podcast, The Super Awesome Geek Show. 
And check us out at www.superawesomegeekshow.com. Follow us on Twitter at Awesome Geek Show. Instagram and Facebook at Super Awesome Geek Show. And we'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy. Keep playing with your toys. That's what they're made for. See ya. More than meets the eye.